G'day fellow campers. Today we're going to show you around the Oz Track Simpson Rooftop Camper. Come and check out its features. Starting from the very front here, we've got a 100 litre water tank that drives this tap on the front of the draw bar so you can set that up for an ensuite or just you know, have its handy space to wash your hands. A whole lot of storage in the front here. We've got a nine kilo gas holder here. Um, plumbing all done for your gas, which is plumb back to your kitchen with a quick easy connect. A nice big storage area in the front. A whole lot of room, you've got a whole lot of gear you can put in there. Moving a little bit forward. We've got our full stainless steel slide out kitchen here. A nice extension bench on the top. Slide out there, you can use that for all your cutlery and of course another preparation bench just here. Two burner Smev stove, good quality European. Two burner Smev, of course full size sink here. Everything's there, easy to use, can make a great camper meal on there. Whole lot of storage in the top there. This top shelf goes all the way through the camper for those longer items, whether it be deck chairs, or any uh, fishing rods or anything like that, no problem at all. Moving forward to the centre, a bunch of storage in there, you've got a whole lot of storage in the bottom and a handy drawer that comes out there. This camper really is all about storage. Because you're sleeping on the top of the camper, the whole camper itself is just loaded with empty, empty capacity basically, so you can put anything you like in there. We've got a stereo system here with a speaker on this side and another on the other side. Um, it has an aerial on the back that's hardwired, so you can pick up all your favourite stations depending where you are, of course. Around the back here, a huge fridge slide. As you can see, that's a big area to put a big fridge. You've got a couple of double USB, a USB port there and a 12 volt accessory outlet as well. All the latches and seals are all adjustable, so you can pull that in nice and tight. You get no dust, no water through there at all. We've got double recovery hitches on here and also a spot there to put a bike rack if you want to take some bikes. A water filler here for your 100 litre water tank. Over this side here, we've got your heart of the camper in here, the electric control panel. You've got a two by 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries. All the switches and everything you need there to tell you what's going on with the camper. Tells you how many volts you've got in your batteries, how many amp hours you're using, how much water you've got in your tanks, the whole lot. Another bit of storage over here with that handy utility drawer again. Very easy to operate. And again, a bunch of storage in there and that's that shelf, as I said earlier, that goes all the way through. We're running uh, alloy 16 inch rims on a, a mud terrain tire. We've independent uh, twin shock suspension, control arm suspension on coil springs. Here, we have two jerry can holders, so you can put a bit of extra water or fuel if you're doing a tinny or some motorbikes or something like that, you've got space for that. A nice spare on the front. We run the XO series jockey wheel on the front, the dual wheel jockey wheel on the front, and a poly block hitch up the front. And of course, we supply all connections for that to hook up to your vehicle as well. On the top of the camper, as you can see, we've got that handy cage up there with big access doors at 900 wide to get your solar panels in there. Um, some extra table and chairs, whatever the case might be. On the top, we do as a standard fitting to this camper, a 1.8 metre rooftop tent, an Oztrack rooftop tent. Um, it comes complete with lower annex. And of course, the awning on the other side is a full 270 degree awning that wraps around from that side all the way across and around to the back. Now we're gonna get this set up for you now. So I'll get it all set up and we'll go through some more features. So as you can see, we've got our tent our awning, our lower annex, all set up on this Simpson rooftop camper now. Come and let me show you the features of how you get comfy. As you can see, our full awning goes from the front of the camper, wraps all the way around the back of the camper, covering your kitchen, your fridge, and giving you a whole lot of shade, make it on a hot summer's day like today, somewhere to escape to. Around the back, we have our 1.8 metre rooftop tent, erected and ready for sleeping. We've got our lower annex on. You can see we've got the uh, windows wound up on the outside. We've also got internal closing windows on the inside. So if it does rain, you can wind them up from the inside. Plenty of room here for the kids to sleep down the bottom. And as we go up the tent there, you'll notice that uh, it's, a, it's a three man tent up there you'll be able to see that up there yourself 
and there's a ton of space. It's 1.8 metres wide, which is the same as a king size bed and 2.4 metres long, so heaps of room to sleep. As you can see, on the lower annex, it opens up to the full back and side of the camper. So you can open up all your storage and access anything you need to access through there. Overall guys, this Simpson camper is a complete package. It's got your full 1.8 metre rooftop tent, plenty of room for you guys, plenty of room for the kids down the bottom if you don't want them upstairs. It's lightweight, it's nimble, it's gonna go anywhere you decide to point your four wheel drive to. Um, all in all, a great package. Jump into the showroom, we'd love to show you through it.